Lungfish are not in the group of fish which make up most modern fish alive today, the rayfin or actinopterygian fish. They are in a much smaller group, the sarcopterygian fish. But these fish are interesting because like tetrapods, they have bones within their fins and the muscles which move the fins are in the fins rather than attached to the body wall. In lungfish, the ancestral swim bladder, which primitive bony fish can use to breathe air, has been separated into two separate chambers, except in the Australian lungfish where they are fused to make one. And these are true lungs, which lungfish can use to uh, to gulp air from the surface, which may supplement the oxygen being taken in from the water at their gills. Lungfish are first known from the early Devonian period, 400 million years ago, and are the modern fish most closely related to tetrapods, including five species in the family Lepidosirenidae, one from South America, four from Africa, and one Australian species in the family Neoceratodontidae. South American lungfish must breathe air using their lungs because their gills are so reduced they have little function. The young are born with external gills, similar to the gills that you would see on larval salamanders. And during droughts, uh, these lungfish make a mucus-lined chamber in the mud where they breathe air until the uh, next rain. African lungfish can exceed six feet in length and must breathe air using their lungs as adults. The gills are reduced, although they are functional. They alone cannot support the metabolism of an adult, especially when uh, the oxygen levels in the water are low. The young are also born with external gills and during droughts also they make mucus cocoons in the mud where they breathe air. Here you see an African lungfish going to the surface to take a gulp of air into its lungs. Once again, it is breathing through gills, but it requires oxygen in its lungs as well. The Australian lungfish is the most primitive lungfish alive today, whose lineage separated long ago from that of other lungfishes. In fact, this genus has changed little in a hundred million years and among the fish uh, this genus being more than a hundred million years old makes it one of the oldest. Its gills can support the metabolism of an adult and so they do not have to rise to the surface to gulp air the way that other lung fish do. There are two lobes of a lung which have fused and its single lung can function and supplement the oxygen from the gills, especially when the water is low in oxygen. They can survive for several days out of water if they're kept moist, but they cannot be desiccated the way that the other lungfish can. They are large fish and can approach five feet in length and can live 80 years in captivity. In the fossil record, there are sarcopterygian fish more closely related to tetrapods than lungfish are, whose um, fin bones were homologous uh, to those bones of amphibian arms and legs. But even still, the bones in the limbs of lungfish, whether this be fossil lungfish or modern lungfish like the Australian lungfish here, are also homologous to those of a tetrapod limb, such as uh, the shoulder girdle with its clavicle, clitrum, and scapulocoracoid, or the arm with its humerus, radius, and ulna.